right, welcome back, everybody, to the show. We've got our next game just about ready to start between these two players. Currently tied up 1-1. Could go either way. We still have a few more games. This is, again, a best of seven series. So definitely hang out with us today as we watch this awesome StarCraft action. With me is Shaft, of course, the creator of this event for your entertainment. What's up, Chef? Not a lot, man. We were reading some of the chat just a few moments ago, and now, uh, so little update on that last build. Penguin forgot being like, he could have had it, he intended to have it, he forgot it, really, really hurt him. He agrees that that was not good. Um, okay, that, that being said, we also got a little history of the build orders that these players have chosen. That last game, Disrespect was apparently using one of Poke Bunny's builds. Um, not sure exactly where it differentiates from other builds, but sure. Uh, says that's poke bunnies, that's poke bunnies. Penguin, game number one, was emulating cat. So they're basically having a uh, who can emulate other players in the StarCraft community better off a thon. Sounds yeah. interesting to me. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at the scoreboard real quick for everybody. Mm -hmm. So, first map going to Penguin. They can battle on the boardwalk. Disrespect, able to tie it up on Ascension to Ire. But as you can see, there's a lot of space there to be filled in. So that means we have some more awesome StarCraft about ready to go for you. Yeah, man, and this is already turning to be a pretty even series. It's 1-1 one, one right now, so we won't see any all kills one way or the other. And of course, that means happy StarCraft days for all of us. Indeed, indeed. So... I think we're ready. Yeah, I think we're ready because there's some there's some things to things to be uh, things going on here. here. <laughs> let's uh, let's introduce the top left hand corner first. How about that? Yeah. Cause here on the top left hand side, playing for Apple Gaming and the Pink Taron Chongs. He used to be one of Polygon Gaming's <laughs> finest. It's disrespect. And his opponent in the bottom right. Give it up for Going Penguin. For that 12 <laughs> At the 12 pool? Oh, I didn't even see it was a 12 pool. I was doing other stuff. 12 yeah, pool yeah. is here. That means He's some circlings are pool, up. Yeah. Circlings about to pop out right now, making their way past this hatchery that's about halfway done. Now, don't quote me exactly on 12 pool. It might have been a 13 pool, might have been a 14 pool. Hey. It was some kind of early pool, guys. Details, details. That's... Indeed. Indeed. Minor oh, details. So... So audience, there's about 11 of you chilling in the chat room right now. Please let us know, show us your love. Let us know you are there and if you're feeling- Let us know who you want to win. Are you a Terran yeah, or a Yeah, let us know who you want to win. And if you're feeling particularly perky, share this link with your friends. Let them know what's going on, that you're watching some exciting StarCraft II action brought to you by Polygon Game. Reaper does show up. If you're a Terran fan, I want to see you put hashtag Dirty Zerg in the chat. <laughs> nice, yes. I'm good with that. <laughs> As Hashtag a Protoss, I, I inevitably have a bit of disdain for Zerg. Not, not against the player themselves at all, but just the Zerg race in general. I've got a little bit of contempt, perhaps. For but I'm not going to let that influence who I want to win this game because Penguin is bringing us some awesome play today. He is a hell of a player. I think he's going to be able to give us something else here on game number two. I think he's going to be the aggressor. Or I'm sorry, game number yes. three. Game no We're yes. already on game number three. This is flying by. Wow. Yeah, we man. Best of sevens that you like to see the void do not last much uh, long uh, anymore. Like, I remember when we were living yeah. the best of seven, you kind of anticipated that to be like oh, two hours. Each game was like, yeah, like 40, 30, 45 minutes real time, yeah. not not StarCraft time. <laughs> exactly. No, you, never, you almost never see an hour long game anymore. That is that is so incredibly rare, I think, at this point in the evolution and normally, of StarCraft. And normally, if you do, there's one. Yeah, exactly. It's you want to know something crazy while well, you got some downtime here? I've been yeah. training with a guy, and I play a lot of ZBZ. It's probably one of my best matchups. Yeah. But um, he does one base swarm host all in, and like normally that's like something you see in Bronze League or whatever. This guy's like about to break into Masters and wins almost every game with it. I do not know how he makes it work. Oh my god. That's crazy. It's insane. Ooh, Walks loves uh loves him some disrespect, but mains Zerg. So a little uh -huh. bit of a traitor Zerg there. I'm okay with that. That is also okay, my books. But now, thanks for tuning in, and hanging out with us, giving disrespect yeah. some love. He's definitely gonna gonna need it with this attack. Those hellions. Oh no! One Renegade hellion. Yeah, one hellion getting picked off by the queens. So this attack is going to get pushed away pretty easily, as we see a banely nest coming down behind it. Mm-hmm. 
Baneliness coming down. We've got uh, constant queen production. Ooh, and still no third base. As well. I think it's worth pointing out that most standard Zergs get her third base about two and a half minutes before this. Sue sometimes as early as a minute 45. So if you just benchmark that. There it is. I knew it. I knew it was some sort of crazy drops. I was hoping to see some Bane yep. Rain. Yep. If you benchmark that, that means some kind of super aggression. And this yeah. is like. He's scouting us. Like, oh, he, he sees knows it. There's... He knows. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> da, 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 The question is, do you go home at this point, or do you just go He doesn't know. Attack? He's, like, kind of following it. Like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's coming. What do I do? What do I do? Yeah, here comes the pain. No Bane leans, thankfully, just yet, but this is still going to be quite the attack. Actually, if I see, there it is. Big Bane lean morph in right now. Going to be potentially loaded up into those two empty overlords. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is an attack coming if I ever saw one. One Viking is going to be the hero and try to gun these down before they can get into the Terran's base. Gonna have to unlock yeah, some queens. Yeah, he does not know which one has the, uh, like, it was empty. He was yeah. actually targeting the weakened one, and a uh, transfuse goes right on yeah, off. One, one Viking Beautiful. never going to be able to kill five overlords in time anyway. It's going to be up to the Hellions and the bunker Bunkers right now. Mm -hmm. Let's just watch and see what happens. Oh, my. Oh my god. Bane exploding, the... bunkers falling, queens transfusing, Vikings mm -hmm. gunning down overlords from the sky. It is just going to be too much for disrespect to handle. Ooh. Yeah, you know what really might have helped a lot there? Like, I don't know if it would have made, um, like, if it would have been everything disrespect needed to stay alive. Uh -huh. That depot wall was down. That depot wall was down? Yeah, a huge yeah. flood of lanes just ran right into the Terra main. Yep. And, you know, that attack was powerful. But without those reinforcements, it would have died out. Yeah, for sure. So that was game. Not putting that down, but, like, I'm, I'm playing that game back in my head. Just saying, what could Disrespect have done differently besides that to have been safer? Do you have any ideas? Um, I don't know. That was just a re he, the only way to really stop that is to know what's coming a little bit earlier. Maybe have some mm -hmm. better splits. Um, the bunkers did their best. The banelings, though, they just get dropped on top of any SCVs that are trying to repair it. That's just a really hard, uh, really hard one to hold. Maybe with some cyclones would have been a little bit better instead of Hellions. Mm -hmm. uh, they could have taken a little bit more damage. Also, mm -hmm. maybe gunned down the overlords before they could unload everything. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Well, I well, think well executed disrespect, from Penguin, though. Disrespect well, threw down a third base when uh -huh. the Zerg didn't have one. I think he might, should not have committed to that as well. I yeah. think that was really the big decision. Let's see. Yeah. Pay, he is player one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, go, jump into that commercial break. We are going to have a word from our sponsors today. We're going to be uh, showing you a commercial about SC2 replay stats, a great place to find replays, as well as their training center which can Indeed. help you become as good a player as these two here, as yeah. we will be back, apparently. <laughs> shortly, shortly. All right, yeah, we are going to go to a quick commercial break. Thank you again for hanging out with us on this Sunday skirmish number one. We're going to be bringing you more of this in the future. But as Chef said, we're going to throw you an awesome commercial here. Go ahead. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.